Oh, hi again, everybody. Welcome to my latest video. Well, it's been the better part of a week since I did that last overnight trip over at Micro Center to get my latest addition to my 3000 series line of cards. This is the RTX 3070 Ti. Some of the reviews out there are lukewarm on it, but I think it'll do well for my purposes. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open it up, give, do a little quick box opening of it, and then I'm going to put it into this PC back here, replacing the uh, Gigabyte vision card that's in there 3080 and i'm going to run the test on it and see how it does and i've already got the test results with the same system for a lot of other cards so it should uh, it should pretty much match up and be fairly compared to those other cards that i've tested in here so without further ado let me go ahead and open this box up and see what's inside okay here it is close up this box has not been opened yet get my handy dandy little box opener here we go strix Open this guy up. Brand new box. And what do we got here? Let me take out the little goodies here first and see what we got. It's probably the same stuff. It's got the uh, Rogue Strix ruler that it tends to give you whenever you get one of these cards on a keychain. And it's got some uh, Rogue Strix cable ties, the Velcro type. Put that aside. I think that's all that's in here. Take the card out. Put it on the side here. We got the standard of the box here. What is this? Oh, that looks like that's an extra piece to go on to the heat shield. I think I remember that. It's got the collector's card, rope strip collector's card. It's got some thing. It's got some instructions, speed up instructions. And a thank you card. Now for the card itself. I'm breaking the seal here. <laughs> This is the back side. Looks like this is where this thing goes. Yeah, there's a screw hole thing here, so this is the way it goes. So is there a stick on the back of this thing? It must be, right? Plastic tear on the bottom here, it looks like. A little plastic tear. It just sort of goes in like this. Perfect. It says remove protective plastic. There we go, it's really thick plastic on these things here. Let's see if we hear anything. Oh, a little bit, or a little bit there. And then, looks like I've got a tear here, the IO shield. I'm gonna have to take off all these little things here, huh? In order to do that. There we go. The thing looks like it has three display ports and two HDMI. But I believe you can only use four of these at one time. I believe that's the way it normally is, right? Any more tears here? There's a tear up across here now. There. And is there anything on the front side? Yeah, it looks like these fans probably have tears too. But I may have to use a, a knife to get those off. I'll get them off later. Three fans, they go in reverse directions. This one goes that way, this one goes that way. Let's see. Looks like it's going to have the standard rope strip RGB section here. Oh, it's got another little tear on the Art the GT GE Force RTX logo. This is a stubborn one. Does it wrap around to the other side? Yeah, that's what it is. It wraps around all the way to the other side, like that. So there's the full logo. It's got the same two headers in here, the fan headers. So we can attach case fans to that, and this can control the case fans. I, I showed how that worked on my 3060 Ti, and that's about it. I'll leave the uh, PCIe protector on for now. There's no reason to take that off. Hefty looking card. This is really beefy and heavy. It's got a massive cooler on it. Let's see, does it got the uh, switch? Sometimes they have a switch between a performance mode and a uh, quiet mode. I'm not sure. I'd have to look for that. I don't see it right off the top unless unless that's it right in there. That actually may be it. This little switch right in there. See that? This little switch right in there. Looks like that might be it. Yep. And I think that's the nickel tour of this Rogue Strict 3070 Ti. It's got a nice solid metal backplate, probably aluminum. Looks like painted black aluminum. It looks like it has the, um, the hair cooling system that actually comes out both ends, sucks in there and comes out here, and probably also comes out over here as well. 
Okay, that's uh, that's what the card looks like it has on it. Go ahead and put it inside the computer. Looks like I have some more tears. We're gonna have to be very careful getting those off. So I'll get those off when I look at it a little more carefully. There it is, the Asus Rogue Strict 3070 Ti. Okay, it's in. Here's the Rogue Strix 3070 Ti that I just got from Micro Center. Now it's in my PC and I'll do some testing of it. Okay, I'll start off with Heaven and see how that works out. Got to hit F9, and now it's benchmarking. I'll be zooming through this. And it's done. Let's zoom in and take a look at what we got here. Okay, now let's run 3D Mark. I have a hardware info running in the background right now, so we'll see how it actually performs when I get it kicked off. Most of this I'll speed through. And it looks like it's done here, 38,581. Well, that completes this review of the Asus Rogue Strick 3070 Ti card that I picked up at Micro Center on my last overnight trip. Well, it was interesting because it did, as expected, in between the 3070 that I had, which was the Asus KO, I believe, and the EVGA 3080 that I have. It was sort of fell in between the two of those. However, it was clear when you look at those charts I just showed that it was a little bit closer in terms of performance to the 3070 rather than 3080 and when it came to power draw it was closer to the 3080 rather than the 3070. So I just still think it's a good card and I'm going to keep it. It's going to be in my tertiary system and it'll be the backup to my backup. So hopefully you got something out of this video and if you did consider subscribing to my channel. That way you can see videos like this in the future and you can see what sort of things I'm trying next. Well until then take care be safe, and in this world, even though things are winding down, try to stay healthy.